how to install Suntuff Sunglaze. Suntuff Sunglaze can be fixed onto rafters and purlins with a minimum roof pitch of at least 5 degrees to ensure adequate water runoff and help to keep the roof clean. However, we recommend visiting sunglaze.co.nz for further installation and maintenance guidelines. Measure the width of your roofing structure and divide by 600 millimetres. This will give you the amount of panels, standard and edge glazing bars required. If your roofing structure does not divide 600 millimetres evenly, the end panel will need to be cut to size and fixed to the structure using an edge glazing bar. Measure the length of your roof and cut the glazing bars to length using a drop saw, circular saw or hand saw. An overhang of minimum 50 millimetres over the gutter is recommended. Cut panels on the reverse side to length, minus 3 millimetres for every 1 metre of the glazing bars, to allow contraction and expansion using a circular skill saw with a fine tooth blade. Once the components are cut to size, pre-drill 5 millimetre holes in the V-groove channel of the bottom glazing bar. Place the bottom glazing bar at the centre of the structure and fix it using the screws provided. We recommend creating a spacer bar jig at 565mm to easily measure the distance between the glazing bars on each rafter or purlin. Place the panel between the two glazing bars. Make sure the panel is correctly seated along their whole length. Care must be taken not to scratch the panels. Position the middle glazing bar onto the bottom glazing bar and the edge of the panel. Fix the middle glazing bar with the screws provided through the pre-drilled holes and into the bottom glazing bar. It is recommended to position two screws at 80mm apart at each end and then at every 300mm in between. Click the top cover glazing bar into place using a rubber mallet, performing moderate strikes with short intervals. Fix the end caps at the bottom of the glazing bars, gutter and exposed end, using the screws provided. Pre-drilling a 5mm hole to the bottom and middle glazing bar may be required. Remove the protective masking from the panel shortly after installation. Delaying the removal process can make it very difficult to remove later. Repeat steps 3 to 9 until you reach the edges of your roofing structure. Measure the remaining width of the required side panels and cut the panel along the rip line. Use a circular skill saw with a fine tooth blade to cut the panel to size. We recommend doing a trial cut first. While on the ground, pre-drill 5mm holes in the V-groove channel of the bottom edge glazing bar. Cut the glazing rubber to the length of the panel and then fit the cut glazing rubber to the cut edge of the panel. Place the bottom edge glazing bar along the end of the structure with the side panel and fix the bottom edge glazing bar onto the rafter or purlin using the screws provided. Position the middle edge glazing bar onto the bottom edge glazing bar and the edge of the panel. Fix the middle edge glazing bar with the screws provided through the pre-drilled holes and into the bottom edge glazing bar. It is recommended to position two screws at 18mm apart at each end and then at every 300mm in between. Pre-drilling may be required using a 5mm drill bit. Click the top cover edge glazing bar into place on the top using a rubber mallet, performing moderate strikes with short intervals. Fix the edge end caps at the bottom of the edge glazing bars, gutter and exposed end, using the screws provided. Pre-drilling a 5mm hole to the bottom and middle edge glazing bar may be required. Repeat the steps 11 to 17 if the other end of your roofing structure does not measure accurately to 600mm centres. 